creator of the San Francisco African American Senior Narrative Quilt Project. This project commemorates and documents the history and stories of San Francisco African Americans through the process of quilt making and conducting interviews. Fillmore Community, I arrived in San Francisco in 1972 and I lived at the Pickwick Hotel. I moved, not lived, but I actually, uh, my hotel was down at the Pickwick Hotel and I, uh, I was new. I didn't know anyone. I had just arrived at, on an impulse. I uh, kept on to California, you know what I mean? <laughs> didn't know where. And then, you know, discussion-wise, a friend of mine said, you know, San Francisco's cool. You need a car in L.A. So I said, All right, I'm going to San Francisco. And like I said, I arrived at the uh, airport, and they asked the taxi driver about a place, and they said, Pickwick was cool. Went there, ventured into the Fillmore, and never left. <laughs> I I wound up on the Desiderio and uh, Fulton family cleaner downstairs, upstairs, black taxi company, the brown taxi company next door, <laughs> which was hilarious itself, listening to all the calls and the comments that the taxi cab drivers had with the passengers. It was magnetic. That's really would say it nailed where I'm going to stay. Listening to those conversations with the dispatcher and the taxi drivers, story within itself. Uh, worked around and uh, found a little job uh, in this hospital. The good thing I had, you know, money was getting short. You know, I got lazy for a minute. We found a little gig in the hospital, uh, meeting people at the hospital, somewhat uh, befriending me. And, you know, the rest is history in a sense because I just, I'm a, an investigator anyway in terms of the knowledge wise, want to know. And meeting these people at the hospital who led me to different areas in the city was uh, all I needed. The rest of it is knowing who was who, the uh, chat callers of the community, uh, and I'm saying some heavyweight people. I ain't talking about doctors, lawyers, you name it, all of them ate at Moselle's. <laughs> this was on Fillmore, and across the street from me, actually, Fillmore and Fulton, like this place where everyone ate, from you know your uh, educated people down to your janitor ate at Moselle's. That's where I hung out. I hung out there just meeting people, you know, every day about 12 o'clock. I would go to Moselle at yeah, lunchtime because I worked up the street from the uh, the restaurant. You know, the hospital wasn't that far. And the rest of it is history. I just, I, to this day, they have a photograph on me of me on the Fillmore street there. And I'm so proud to be on a building poster on a pole knowing whose footsteps I I'm walking it, be honest with you. They the folks that made contributions to the San, the Californian, the young Californian, we're talking about Willie Brown, met him there. You name the folks, I met them. And to be somewhat identified with that, I can't really, really explain how proud I am because I know, I know what black folks came through the film. I mean, some sh shot callers that were just so, so impressive. Uh, the determination, the, the intelligence of the people that I met here in the Fillmore. And, you know, like I said, the rest of it, I just, you know, can continue to go to their meetings and I wanted to know who, doing what, what was going on in the black community in San Francisco. This was in the 70s, like I said. And, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm proud. Every day I walk down the Fillmore, uh, the spirit of those people walks with me. I'm going to start off with actually creating a portrait of each senior. Um, the portrait is actually 
These are paintings, like many paintings, that are done on cotton fabric squares. Once I actually do the portrait, all of the squares are actually sewn together to produce the larger quilt. And these are actual seniors um, that have all participated in the project. Now, with the steady decline of the black population in San Francisco, I felt this project was a race against time to record their history. Most recently, with the COVID-19 pandemic, several of the seniors on the quilt passed away um, before the completion of the project. So I want to really thank them and I want to uh, honor them for their support with this project. For me, the quilts have taken on an even greater importance to the community and I hope you enjoy the quilts in the project. Uh, and please take the time to learn more about the African Americans that added to the rich history of San Francisco. Thank you.